Hello, I'm Eileen Shapiro, your Summit County Executive. Today we are celebrating the 170th anniversary of Sojourner Truth's famous address to the 1851 Ohio Women's Rights Convention held right here in Akron, Ohio. In her speech, Sojourner made a simple but powerful declaration stating she is a woman's rights. Her words rang through Akron and the entire nation and still resonate with us today as we continue to fight for equality. Some time ago, several women in the community shared with me their idea for a Sojourner Truth statue. I knew immediately it was a worthy endeavor. Recognizing Sojourner's lasting legacy, this group of local women has been working together for many months to finally memorialize her at the site of her famous speech. The Sojourner Truth Statue Fund is well on its way to making this memorial a reality, but we need your help. Today I am joined by the project's chairwoman, Tawanda Mullins, an internationally known artist and Akron resident, Woodrow Nash. Tawanda and Woodrow are here to share why constructing this statue and placing it at the location of the speech is so very important. My name is Woodrow Nash. I am a uh, Akron resident, have been an Akron resident all my life. It was presented to me that, well, Sojourner Truth had made a famous speech here in Iowa, dealing with woman's suffrage. Well, what I'm projecting here is her extending herself, the, the outreach hand and the open palm and everything is an extension of what she's talking about to gather people together to feel exactly what she's feeling. In, in this particular case, it was woman's suffrage. In her book, she compares herself with a man. I can, you know, do as much work as a man, you know, but I'm, I'm not giving the, the full rights and benefits of a man. And that's what I want people to feel, this overextension of herself in that uh, pole statue. Just the right thing to do. A lot of, not just black women, but all women of all different walks of life are receiving the benefits of what she proposed during that period, women's suffrage. So. Hi, Twanda Mullins here with the committee uh, representing the Summit Suffrage Centennial. And I just want to share with you why I think it's important that you join our collective work and give you some uh, backdrops to what we've done up to today. Our committee works are far and wide. We've um, been able to um, get sponsors and continued work and um, support. I'll start with the Akron Public Schools. It is important to tie the educational piece to this statue that we're going to erect here. It's important for the children to know that what happened here in Akron, Ohio on May 29, 1851, when she was here. You know, Sojourner Truth was also uh, not just a famous abolitionist and suffragist, she was a preacher. And she asked God to guide her steps and he guided them here to Akron, Ohio. And near here where we are right now, downtown Akron, we're going to erect that legacy. It wasn't a welcoming time during those days, but she persevered in the fortitude to move forward for not just herself, she thought of all of us. And how about Summit County, being full of leaders, fierce leaders in this community. I am so proud to be a resident here. They stand on the shoulders of Sojourner Truth, and I want to just pay homage and give respect to Faith Denbrath. She was one of the first ones who thought of this idea, and then we came together and we diligently have not missed a mark. The collective work goes on but behind um, Akron Public Schools, but also I want to uh, give well respect, which is due to Akron Community Foundation, our fiscal agent, where you can contribute at any time. And then lastly, the United Way of Medina and Summit Counties. How about that being the location of this statue? To Jim Mullen, we're so grateful for you, the board, those who agreed to repurpose your parking lot. 
the place where Sojourner Truth is just going to oversee our city. And then last but not least, to our executive, our county executive, uh, Eileen Shapiro. By all means, without her, this may not have been possible. She made it appropriate for us to come together before COVID to meet and share our ideas. And we've been meeting since the end of 2018. We did a reenactment of suffrage march August of 2019. And from there, we just kept talking to one another. There were organizations that represent our government, businesses, organizations, and then those who just want to do the work. We're so grateful. And we do hope that you will plan and join us on this. I do want to leave one thing with you. This is what was said on May 29, 1851 at the Ohio Women's Convention here in Akron, Ohio. I quote, you need not to be afraid to give us our rights. Our rights for fear we will take too much? Sojourner continued, for we can't take more than our pint will hold. She's literally stating, we only want what is right and what is due and what is just as we fight today for equality. Thank you.